Hi, I've got um, I'm, I'm Balou Fagboran. I'm the head of performance for Nigerian Rugby League. Um, I've also played development at Berkyshaw Blue Dogs, who are based in Bradford. So they'll be uh, quite excited to see um, our Elliot Wallace, who I've got today with me from uh, Bradford Bulls, who's um, a new signing on loan from Hull KR. So um, he's happily joined me today. So less than 24 hours after his um, his debut, uh, first run out for Bradford Bulls. So obviously, like uh, most people, uh, nothing's really happened for Bradford in last year or so due to lockdown. So obviously, we've been excited to get back out there. So I've just got a couple of questions for him. And obviously, um, catching whilst he's got that post-debut excitement you get from from coming um, from from coming from your first game. So it'll be good to ask him a couple of questions and see how he found it. So uh, hi, Elliot. How are you doing? All right, mate. How are you? Yeah, good, mate. Good. Um, so obviously, coming from East Hull, you're an East Hull lad. So you made your debut um, yesterday. So your game day routine, it's been a year or so. So how did that go on? Uh, I, took, I, I probably took it more serious than I have for a while. Uh, I, probably, I drank about three litres of water the night before the game. <laughs> Big feed, got my bag ready. Uh, I had quite quite a lot to eat on the morning as well. And then, so we got we got told to be rude of us to the game, but, you know, they're being a long... A long day. Yeah. But yeah. by the time I got there, I prepared it pretty well and I didn't really need it. So I just sort of stuck with my sweets. I have like a few Harry Burrs and then a, maybe like a Lucas Aid Sport or something like that. Yeah. Get the energy up. Oh, that's so, good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Get back into the routine. So how, how did you feel of the build up yeah. to the game? So obviously it got announced a couple of weeks ago, didn't it, that you'd have a friendly today, uh, yesterday, sorry. So how did you feel of the build up to it? A uh, bit nervous, like, but obviously it's been been a year since I've since I've last played so I thought well wondering if I've still got it <laughs> but yeah it was good to blow it was good good to blow the cobwebs out oh that's good that's good so yeah, tell really people good. um who you played yesterday what was the final score if you can remember it uh so we played Swinton and the final score was 26 24 if I, or 22 if I remember correctly hmm. so how many minutes did like you that. get so how many minutes did you get in the end? Uh, well, I, I got fifty minutes, so that, that was a good little, a lo- good little run out for a friendly. To be honest, it's good. Uh, you, do you play on the wing all yeah. game? Yeah, yeah, I just sat wing for for most of the game. A lot of people got moved around, which was probably why the result was the way it was, in my opinion. I had um, Brandon, yeah, Pick- was- Brandon Pickles girl. Um, luckily, he, he looked for me. He did a he did a Zoom session for. Um, the Blue Dogs this morning, and he was saying he'd, he'd felt a couple of bumps right. and bruises, and he said you did quite well. He said he took quite a lot of carries. How did it feel to get get ball in your hand? Yeah, it was good. That's that's sort of what I went to do really, because I'm a, uh, I'm not the best trainer, so I just wanted to show the, <laughs> the coaches that I have got a, a bit of a work ethic in me, and that I can have a dig. And oh, that's, that's but that really is probably my, my strongest area is is getting getting the team out of yardage. Oh, that's quality. Taking that's... them big carries. Yeah. That's quality, is that? So for, like Bra- for Bradford fans out there, they've got, uh, they've got a lot to, uh, lot to look forward to in terms of your ball carrying and coming out of backfield, I take then. Yeah, well, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> so are you? Uh, what's your biggest takeaway then from your first game? What's your biggest takeaway? Um, well, probably, well, I, did, I didn't make any errors and I didn't give away any penalties. So that's something... That's something quite quick for me. It's just sort of get, having a clean game, mm. doing everything right. And yeah, that's it really, just doing my job. No, that's so good. the coaches that's can't good. really have, have an argument against me, you know. Oh, that's really good. Down. Yeah, I've, I've heard there's quite a lot of competition in there as well out wide next uh, the year coming up, Ball. So that's that's really good that obviously you, you want to go for your first game, yeah. getting no headers. And from the sounds of it, it sounds like you had a really solid first game from. From all uh, all reports. Well, yeah, that's what I went to do. We sort of, yeah, that's what I went to do. We sort of just make sure I put myself in the back of the coach's mind for for when they pick the team. Oh, that's start good. Of the year. That's good. That's yeah. good. When's the first game? Um, Is it the Challenge Cup? Sometime in April. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. 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 Yeah, that's, yeah. So that'll be exciting. Hopefully. Hopefully I'll get a run out, but if not, I'm sure I'll get one sometime soon. No, that's really good to hear. It's a bit, it's a, a big year coming up, and obviously, are you, are you just turned 21. 
Are you about to turn 22 this year? 21 in May. Turn 21 in May. Wow, wow. Yeah, you've got a lot, lot of years, a lot of years of playing rugby in front of you. Um, I know at Nigeria they're really excited to see you out there on the pitch this year, and and, and obviously see see the potential you've you, you've got out there. Um, so for some of Bradford Bulls fans watching, some of the Nigerian kids will, will see this. What have they got to look forward to seeing you play this year, Elliot? What do you what do you say to, they've got in, in store for them? Uh, just in a very aggressive play style. That's what I like to bring is a bit of a bit of biff. <laughs> <laughs> That's idea. good, is that? That's good, is that? About say, have, yeah, you been, uh, have you been practicing that on the pads? I know you did a little bit of boxing to keep you fit, haven't you? During lockdown. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I've been doing a lot of boxing. That's something I, I hope to do maybe to, at the end of the year as well. Is have a is have a couple of fights. Get into that. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I'm really. Yeah. <laughs> nah, it's good for keeping fit. No doubt, no doubt. And yeah, yeah it definitely. Is. I like rugby league. It's a bit of controlled aggression. But no, really good to talk yeah. to you, Elliot. Is there anything else you want to add? But um, I am going to get you on again, to be fair, for um, a bit more of an extensive interview about what you've been doing during lockdown and a little bit about more the wider thing about Nigeria. But I thought it was really good to get you on just as um, you've made your debut and obviously you're looking forward to the season. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's good to have a chat and let people know what I'm about. No, definitely, definitely. I want to try and get a lot bit. More, more players out here, and uh, especially Nigerian Anglo guys. Like I've um, spoke to Bob Brodensey yesterday, and, and we sp- we had a good chat, and it'll be online soon. And there's a couple other players as well, especially as the season comes up, and expose you a little bit to fans in Bradford as well, and, and the wider rugby league community. But no, thanks very much for your time, Elliot. Superb, mate. Well done on making your debut. Yeah, I know, I know how nervous that can be. <laughs> Cheers, Paul. <laughs> yeah, good and- to speak to you.